Hello everybody, my name is Julian Games and today this is The Walking Dead Season 1 Episode 2 and Part 2, so yeah. Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And That's with true. the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Alright. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Exactly. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. I'm not true. sure everyone would That's see it that point. way. Maybe you're right. Like Listen, Larry. over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where I are you will. from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh, it's, uh, Democrat. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these what? days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Yeah. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get so you much. all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for oh, yeah, as long as I can remember, like but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? What? Shit, get down. Oh, no fuck. one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man. my camp. Wait a minute. What the? Who are they? Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it there's all There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh, fuck me. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Holy shit. Asshole. Oh, my, my oh, boy got here. destroyed. Oh, to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Holy shit, my boy got annihilated. Man, I hate to fucking fuck you. Feel like, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Alright. I, I don't know how. I feel bad about this dairy thing. Like, this fucking deal. But I'm still going, going with it because I know. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Because, like, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this, this place can so safe. This literally only end badly. The fence keeps them out? That's how you I like betcha. It. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yeah. It probably is. Who the fuck? We've got yeah. kids in our group. Doesn't seem safe to have them near a lethal fence. Oh, don't worry about that. We got plenty to keep them entertained. This place looks what? untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. 
They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Yeah. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Oh, Amazing. Shit. Can't get stuff like that Fucking anymore. Direct. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. Hey, calm down. A Mark. vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Mark, Maybe our whole group down. could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare away. some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Right. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about uh, our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generator before time. they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Just... Let's make sure the place is safe. We should do whatever we can to help it. Nah. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe, but is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right. Sounds like a good one. Zombie apocalypse has been going on for fucking eternity. Andy, need something. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah. If anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. Uh, let's go fix that. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, right, well, that'd so be a big help. A Sounds there. easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Holy shit, that's a big ass fucking farm. Look how many land they have. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Yeah. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. That guy's a piece of shit anyway. <laughs> 
that. Relax. You're not making things any better riling them up. Ah. Uh. There's one. Why the fuck is there an arrow Ugh. on him? Lee, it's dead. Gotta Come on, it. let's push it off. Looks like he's stuck. Arrow. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's useless, yeah, well, it's without, useless gas. without gas. Yeah. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We I mean, could scrounge up a year's worth of gas easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Can take this with. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. Yeah, that's probably. Maybe you're right. What's There's that? another one. I see it. Well, let's just push it up. Uh. Oh, really? You, you wanna hang on, huh, bitch? <coughs> hang on now, motherfucker. Hang on now. <coughs> You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop that thinking about that. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> oh shit, nice jump, Mark. It's like Markiplier. Yeah, nothing. I don't know, so like, what's the plan after this? Like, Little help here, Lee? I know, I'll help him. I'm helping. Well, like, what's the plan after this? Holy fuck! What just happened? What? The fence is off. off. Why oh. the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. That's what the fuck? What the fuck? What oh the my god. Get to the gate. No, Mark. Fuck me. Fuck me, Mark. You asshole, Jesus. No, Mark. We had an agreement. Now what the fuck are you talking about? Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Damn! It can't move. What the fuck? I can do you this all day. Oh, I see you. All right. I fucking get it. Food, you all right. Now we can move. On. Why is it still not? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? You fuck with us! Now we we'll take what we want! Did you really think you could fuck with us? Oh, fuck. We can reach the gate. We can get through right. this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, the house! I'm making my way downtown. Walk Oh my god. Oh, that is fucking cool. Ah. Uh, right what now. happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move him. Wow, when did we push him? What about our arrangement? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Arrangement. Where do you think you're going? Mate, why are they shooting? You don't even know who we are. Didn't even one? How many of those things did we push down? Can't be that much. Come on. Oh, fuck. 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 Oh,
Holy shit, are, are you okay? Fucking bandits. They have no right being out here. Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? Yeah. He got shot Beautiful with an arrow. Christ, impression. are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. How much? How, how many food do you have? Carly said this place was locked down tight. It was just a fluke thing. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, right but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Maybe. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay yeah, here. Exactly. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Uh, Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan life. deal with I these agree. bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. Oh, A swing! I love swings! Just hey. like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you I kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. I mean, they seem like nice people, but again, I have a really bad fucking feeling about that. Let me swing Clem. Wait, first let me talk to Kenny. What's up, Kenny, my man? Hey. Haley, found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure, in case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. Yeah. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. 
Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Yeah. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Clem, what's up? They look happy. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Aw. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Oh. It was being like bad. Oh. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then yeah, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Aww. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Ah, uh, she's lucky. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't oh, let what happened not. to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. Oh, what do you think good. of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, yeah. me too. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Alright, that's all. And the other day. Now, let's first look at like this. Is it safe? I don't know if it is, though, honestly. Oh my god. Can't talk to fucking Larry. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. I mean, I... Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. He, him knocking me out was cold. What the fuck do you mean? Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. So, he's the asshole. Look, yeah. my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Rival, well, no need to fucking cry about it. Like, yeah, he doesn't need to fuck me. He fucking knock me out. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. 
Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose exactly. where it don't you belong see, like, and getting us thrown up, out in our asses. I know, like, what am I gonna do to your fucking daughter? Like, what, fucking punch her? No, I'm not. Shut the fuck up. I fucking hate it. Because, like, legit, like, he knocked me it out. He wanted to kill me. For all of us. I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Doesn't mean he needs to fucking knock me out. Well, you know, he's just protecting on me. But I'm not gonna fucking kill you. He doesn't need to knock me out. That pissed me off so much. I, I'm honestly gonna kill him if I get a chance. I'm gonna happily do that. I, I'm, I, I'm not even gonna think about it. Can I grab anything? Or not. Alright, well, let's go. I don't, I don't know where, I guess. So, for about 23 minutes, I think, this has been going on for Fellas, or something like how that. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. Yeah, but she didn't. No shit. Yeah. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Damn. Hell yeah. Calm down, fucking. Who the fuck are these people in the yeah. woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Damn. Yeah. Right. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I mean, I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're war. just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Ah, uh, look at her fucking running. Where are you going now? Yeah, uh -oh. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Ah, uh, she's the cutest man. Fuck. Ah. Uh, look at her. How can you not love that face? Ah, she's cute. See anything? Not yet. I see a bunch of trees. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. It's definitely close. Here. Oh Holy shit. shit. You found it? Yeah. It seems empty. It is empty, actually. Don't need to sneak, it's fucking empty. You see anybody? Looks empty. Yeah. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. Oh fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Jump scare in three, two, one. My, that's good shit out of me. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Save lots. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. That Empty. Point. But oh, it fuck. looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. I well, that's good, I guess. Wait a minute, is that gas? Nothing but fumes. Shit. Fuck me. Uh, save lots. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking?
Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Oh, what is that? Oh, this is from the dairy. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. We'll open it. Well, I guess that's it. Is that a box? Empty. I'm gonna suggest that that box is... What the fuck? What the fuck is that camera? What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead though. Oh, oh good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and the then get a move on. Good. Wait, did he say good? I don't know. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Well, Lee, you fucked it, mate. Uh. You fucked it. Is there any, anything here that we that we can fucking take? Some sad shit. Wait a minute, is that Clementine's hat? What the, the fuck? Hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put bitch, your what? guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. The fuck you mean? Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are, and I know what you do. Look at this you don't bitch. know me. Steal my hat. shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I should just shoot right now. Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet. Put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Right. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Seems like take we got our feminists me. here. Take a little girl. Where did you so get the fucking carbon hat? Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the fuck you mean? What the hell are you talking about? Yeah. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everyone. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Oh, tell fuck. him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. Wait a minute. What the fuck did she want to say? Was she gonna say something? I swear. Tell him what she God damn it. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. I mean... <sighs> wait a minute, she was gonna say like... Uh, I, she was gonna say something like... Uh, what did she want to say? Like, tell them what you were planning to do with them. Like, what the fuck do you mean by that? Are they planning to fucking it's kill us? It's a clean what? shot though. 
right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. I don't know how to feel about that. I, I'm like thinking like, what was she gonna say? I swear to God, I have a bad feeling about these people. Like, the, the same. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Their Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. She wasn't even in the fucking bandits. I think. I don't know. So I've been recording this for isn't about what Terry would have wanted. Maybe even Terry. 40 minutes. I don't know. My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, well, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. All right, well, Kenny and Louie are back at it. Dan, Daniel, back at it again. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Yeah. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't rain. worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I mean, I want to try to trust her, but I'm around. not really Don't wander her. too far. Dinner will be ready before you people. know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. Uh, that woman yo, is a uh, I can give a little comment on your head. Yes. Where you at, Clement Dodd? My baby. She's fucking eight years old. Ah, look at her. Ah, she's the cutest. What? Why did she close the door? <laughs> so can we talk to Lily? No, we can't. Toolbox. I don't know. Let's like not check on. Actually, we should. When, when you think about it. After everything that that's been happening, like why not? So just a multi tool. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Or what? Alright, so we got a camera, Clementine's hat, a tool, a shit, and an axe. Alright, well guys, I'm gonna end the part here. It's been going long enough. I'm gonna continue right after this one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next part. See ya.